What's up guys, welcome back to Barfly Free Pour. If I have this weird smile on my face, it's because I feel really weird. Today we are back on this channel after, what, a three months at? Is it three months? Are you mic'd? I am mic'd, yeah. Oh, nice, um, cool. Good, good on you. you what, what do you mean three months? Has what? it been three months since we've been on Barfly Free Pour? Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's been, it's been a while. Been a while. We while. just, because of COVID, like we really couldn't keep up with video production. We needed to make sure that we were getting videos out for the Educated Barfly, and so we kind of stopped producing videos. Just, you know, plus we were there were things that we wanted to do with this channel that we couldn't do. So we're back, and I hope we're back for good. Um, we are, as you can see, in a brand new set. Um, we took a lot of the, our downtime to build it. We have been down in a second lockdown for about a month, uh, and this is the first time that we are shooting uh, So here we are. Uh, today we thought we'd do a very quick and easy uh, glassware episode. Now, this isn't going to be a super technical episode. It's just going to be answering the questions of where I get my glassware because everybody asks me that question. Well, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people ask me the question about where we get our glassware. And the answer to that, quite simply, is we get our glassware from a lot of different places. Uh, sometimes we get it from Amazon. Sometimes we get it from restaurant supply stores. Every now and again, I'll find uh, like a store that's going out of business or like Sur La Table, for instance, and I'll go in and kind of grab cheap glassware. We get it from, or in, before COVID, we were getting it from uh, Goodwill and secondhand stores. Uh, but one of the places that we get really good glassware, which is pretty cheap and kind of awesome, uh, is Ikea. And one of the reasons why we wanted to do this episode is because almost all of you, if not all of you, have access to Ikea. So, you know, a lot of the things that we run into, the problems that we run into here on the Educated Barfly is I'll recommend something um, and people in other countries, it's difficult for them to get. But IKEA is pretty universal. It's one of the few companies that are like so big that they're multinational. And I mean, I, I can't think of a country they're not in. I'm sure there are some, but I don't know what those are. Um, and I thought that I would unpack some of my favorite glassware, some glassware that Marius found. Um, and ones that have really cool cocktail applications. Shall we get started? Yes. I think we should. Okay. So I'm going to go with my very favorite find first. Uh, it is this, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, Salskaplig. Salskaplig. Is that, is that good? Mm. What is it? Well, are you putting me on the spot now? Yeah, or? I am. Salskaplig. Salskaplig. Isn't this your, aren't these your people? Uh, they're the neighboring people. Well, there you go. So you have more of an idea than I do. Yeah. Salskaplig. 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 Okay, cool. So, uh, Which means, uh, um, well, now I'm blanking on it, but it means, uh, like, uh, festive. Festive. Oh, well, that's great. What I really like about this glass is that it is like a really nice cobbler glass. I really want to put something in crushed ice and lots of fruit on it. Um, it is just a really nice glass. It is a $9 for a four pack. So some of these glasswares are coming, kind of come in four packs. Some of this glassware is gonna come uh, just like uh, a la carte, if you will. Um, $9 for this, it's a nine ounce glass. It's really pretty and very festive as the name suggests. Uh, I'm gonna save this one because this is this right here I'm very excited about, but I have kind of a spiel about it. Uh, right here we have some nice Pilsner glasses. This is like the Pilsner shaped glass right here. They're 14 ounce glasses, they're really nice. Um, they're not too wide. I kind of like that they have like a nice beveled, you know, that V shape is that mm -hmm. beveled kind of shape to it. Um, they're not very clean, sorry. These guys have been in the garage a little bit and we were building them. I think these around. are, they're kind of like water glasses. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. This would be nice for a Collins though, I think. Mm -hmm. Or actually what I really like at these 14 ounce glasses for is again, like tall, crushed ice or pebble ice tiki drinks or just even just tall any tall pebble ice or tiki ice but this would be really nice with like a nice column spear in it um it might be a little bit voluminous for a collins i usually like to go with a 12 ounce glass for that but these are really nice and they're also very elegant glasses and and they're called like candy what's that they're called like candy they're called godis godis yeah. godis it's like godis it's like like tasty little Treats, here, treats I'll, maybe. I'll know. put them to the side as we as we go through them. Um, here we go, just some champagne flutes, seven ounces, a six pack for four ninety nine. I think this one was nine bucks. Also, by the way, the this was the most expensive one at nine dollars for four, and then the six uh, water glasses were uh, four ninety nine. Uh, this is four ninety nine for six glasses as well. 
It's kind of a voluminous, you know, at seven ounces is a pretty big champagne flute, but it's a nice one. Uh, I do like it. And so I don't really have much to say about champagne flutes, but we got some, we will definitely use them in our upcoming episodes. So if you wanna match your glassware uh, to the episodes that we make, you will be able to. Okay, I'm gonna do this one next, which is just really cool. And I'm gonna bring out this glass for reference. Now this is a glass that was designed by Jeff Beach Bumberry. Uh, it is a pearl diver glass, uh, which is a tiki glass that made the rounds when tiki culture was really big in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Um, and he, when Jeff Berry was doing all of the research into tiki, he could not find this glassware. And so he had it created. He partnered up with Cocktail Kingdom. Uh, that's where you get them. He's got his little logo on the uh, bottom of the glass there. Uh, but what was really cool, this is a Marius find, is this 12 ounce glass that sort of replicates the shape of that glass. This is a little, Dusty, I didn't actually, I should probably wipe it off before we do the episode, but it kind of replicates a, sa a similar shape. It's a little bit smaller at 12 ounces. Uh, but if you wanted to do like a, just like a cool, I don't know, pearl diver, a modern pearl diver riff, this would be like a really nice glass to put it in. Uh, but I think I'm gonna be using this glass a lot because it's just really super, super cool. And I do lots of tiki stuff. Um, and I think this is just gonna be like really nice, elegant glass. Uh, this was also $4.99. And, and uh, they're actually called considerate or thoughtful. Om tanskas, no, om tanksa, om tan, om tanskam, sam. Do you say it? Om tanksam. Om tanksam. Om om tanksam. Well, there you go. Uh, I like the little sing-songy voice that you do when you pronounce these Swedish words. Uh, okay, so here's some a la, a la carte glassware that I really like. A massive eight ounce martini glass if you wanna pretend you're James Bond or you wanna have a regular size martini in a massive glass, here you go. Pretty nice, pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna get busted on this. Is this a Weizen glass? Every single time I say this is like a Pilsner glass or something, everyone goes, it's Das ist ein glass. Like all the Germans get really upset, but uh, it is a nice beer glass. And then there's another footed beer, beer glass here. Um, all of this glassware, all of these a la carte glasswares range from $1.99 to $2.99. They're really, really cheap uh, and they're pretty cool. Uh, this is uh, my the most exciting one that we found here. Uh, I think this is uh, seven or eight ounces, uh, kind of a coupe, but it's kind of like a dessert coupe. Uh, and it kind of reminds me of those sort of long stemmed coupes that uh, the Japanese will put a rock of ice in and then put their cocktail on top. Do you um, know uh, what they say about what the inspiration for those coupe glasses are? No. What, who says about it? Who's like they? They, the... Just the people? The people, yeah. The people in general? Yeah. Them society? Is uh, that... The uh, thems in society? The coupe glass is inspired by, or shaped after Marie Antoinette's breasts. Oh, it's yes, yes, I have heard that before. I don't know how true it is, no, but I have heard that before. But uh, there was somebody a few years ago that did a barn in London uh -huh. that designed some glassware after um, Kate Moss's breasts. Why is it Kate Moss really, they're really obsessed with Kate Moss in the London bar scene. Yeah. Because it was also, I think, Kate Moss where the, the story surrounding uh, the, oh, the espresso the martini, espresso martini yeah. also, and, and not only that, but I think somebody debunked it. Like they were like, wait a minute, Kate, Kate Moss wasn't old enough or something. I don't know, we have to look into it. Uh, I don't think that would have stopped her, but. Yeah, maybe not, maybe not. But uh, it's weird that, uh, that Kate Moss plays kind of a large role in the yeah. London bar scene. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is another glass, going back to glassware. This is another glass that kind of reminds me of Christmas for some reason. I don't know if it's just like the flared top or the little uh, knot in the stem, but uh, it's very kind of festive-y. I could see myself. I mean, I don't think that this is a uh, tempered glass, so I don't know if I'd be putting hot stuff in here, but I could see doing some type of cocktail with wine in or something in here, uh, or maybe some type of a fizz. Uh, really nice glassware. So there you go. All, oh, I didn't take this one. I might as well just for take this one out. This is a nice, just studded rocks glass. Put a rock ice in there, enjoy some scotch or whiskey or what have you in there. Uh, and another, I mean, can you believe how much glassware? They have so much They have so much glassware. I don't know why Marius got this. Marius, for some reason, the, is obsessed with these like massive 12 ounce 
like frozen margarita glasses. Do you know why I got it? Why did you get it? Because we don't have one. Because you wanted to eat tiramisu out of it. Yeah. No, we do have one now. That's the one? thing. Yeah. yeah. Actually, so we have a box of glassware that you got from a Goodwill ah, that, that we good. hadn't unpacked for a long time, and it has three of these. So now we have another one. But uh, if you guys want to make 12 ounce frozen margaritas, which during the COVID times, everyone's drinking a little bit more, you know, hey, more power to you. Just uh, make a quadruple batch and blend it up and just pour it in there and, you know, have daddy, uh, daddy or mommy can be happy. Uh, for those of you with kids, you're probably going to take me up on it. Um, this is uh, the same beer glass as that one. We just have another one. Uh, this is another festive glass, pretty close to this, but the little bit taller, the flare, it's still with a flared top and a knot in the stem, but in a different place. Kind of more of like a bulb on the stem here. Um, and then this is also another really cool glass. It's like this thing without a stem, basically, which is pretty, pretty cool as well. I could see putting a big rock of ice in here and having kind of an interesting looking cocktail. Anyway, here on the Educated Barfly, we like to try and change up our glassware as much as possible. We do get stuck in these. There are just certain glasses that are my absolute favorite that I get stuck on. And so I'm trying to like, trying to change things up a little bit. Uh, there you have it, some IKEA glassware. Uh, you get all this glassware, you'll probably be able to make everything on our channel and not have to really worry about glassware. I don't know what more to say. I guess we're just gonna kind of wrap it up. Hope you like this channel. Please hit like and subscribe. I'm really, really, really glad to be back hanging out with you guys. You guys are a sight for sore eyes, if you know what I mean. And uh, we'll be back really soon. So uh, hit like and subscribe, check out our Patreon page, check out our YouTube memberships. And then also our own t-shirts, Marius is signaling behind the camera. Talk about the t-shirt. We made this awesome metal shake uh, t-shirt in commemoration of the metal shake that I have not done for a while on Barfly. But we got some really good, uh, got some really good uh, t-shirts, some really nice designs, so check them out. And I'll see you guys on another time. Leandro out. Hey, though.